So question number eight talks about 200 computer service firms talking about their income after taxes. We're given a couple of brackets, less than $1 million, 116 firms. Between $1 million and $20 million USD is going to be 68 firms. And then over $20 million is 16 firms. So we're asked, what's the probability that a particular firm has $1 million or more in income after taxes? So we can solve this two ways, right? The first thing that we have to do, regardless of how we're going to solve it, is we have to get a total. So our total here is going to be 200 firms. Also was told to us right here. N is 200. And now we need to figure out the relative frequency, right? So we have 116 over 200 for less than 1 million. We have 68 over 200 for the middle one. And then we have 16 over 200 for the third one, right? So 116 over 200 is going to give us 0.58. And the simplest way to do it is to stop calculating right there and just use your complement rule, right? The probability of it being greater than 1 million is equal to 1 minus the probability of it being less than 1 million. And so since we have the probability of it being less than 1 million, we can plug that in. 1 minus 0.58 gives us the answer of 0 0.42. What's the other way we could do it? Well, we could calculate these individual probabilities here, uh, whatever they are, and we could add them up, right? I could actually just add them up fraction-wise. I could do 16 over 200 plus 68 over 200, which is going to give me 84 over 200, which is going to give me 42 over 100, which gives me x going to give me 42. Yes, I did just do a little wrap there. Questions on that? So we can either combine these two because it's asking about more than a million, so it's both these categories, or we can use our complement rule here. Excellent.